I want to say to the world that mommy and daddy, they are my spiritual father. I don't have any grudges against them or against the church. Did you guys see that? She was the one that they brought to come and speak. Not them, you know, speaking to her in this video and saying, oh, we're sorry for what happened. No, she, she has to speak. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sama. A lot of you may have heard the story about uh, Paul and Nature. A church member came to give testimony about the school she went to and he called her accused her of lying and saying her testimony was false and eventually it was found out that she truly went to school but then nature said her english was not can you speak english like that a lawyer you know all of that and uh, people are not saying nature should apologize nature should come out and apologize and all of this now let me tell you guys why nature as far as i know i may be wrong this is it i say it now i may be wrong but as far as i know nature will never apologize Never. The NHA that we know, the Bragadobia, as much as Bragadobia as he is, I don't see him. People that brag a lot like that, they know they quick apologize. When people are very arrogant, when people are like, you know, those people that feel like I pass everybody, especially when they have this, uh, what is that thing called? Yeah. Oh, English hard sometimes. You see now, they will say I no go school. What is that? What, when they say the God, is it the God complex? I think that's what it's called. When people idolize somebody so much, where the person begins to feel like a God. This man is like a, this man like, is like a God to a lot of people. So how is someone that is, God, they apologize? <laughs> God, they apologize to who? You understand? So there are people that they have been placed so high that apology, if you, when I think, you know, when we speak, they say, touch that mind. Anyways, remember when we started this kind of talk that time? A lot of you remember. There were a few of us, but look now. How the thing don't come off our, our hand. She don't come off our hand. So many people go to TikTok and see the number of people that are boldly speaking up these days. You see, truth is like a seed. If you try to bury it, what happens? It will grow and become bigger than just a seed. Truth is like a bouncy ball. If you hit a bouncy ball harder, the harder you hit it, the higher it would rise. They tried to shut the truth down. Do you know how long they tried? Look at it now. Look at it now. The way truth is hitting from left, right and center. Especially this TikTok generation. <laughs> this TikTok generation. Go and check it out, my people. I remember when we started. How many of us they talk that time? Now, sir, we have become the grandparents. <laughs> we have become the... It's almost like we're retired now, sir. Now. Go to TikTok and see people that... Young people coming up to speak. I said it that time. I'm trying to find... If any of you find those, those my videos. I know that I said this, but I can't remember what videos I said it under. In which I said that we... We are just, my language is we are just starting, like we are nothing compared to the next generation of speaking up. And what's happening today? Going back to Paul Church, oh, let me read you guys the ap apology posted by the church. Remember that Paul Nature was the one that did what happened publicly with a microphone in front of everybody. He could have picked up the microphone do a video and speak no the what did they call this let me see personal assistant secretary to the senior pastor is who is apologizing well he's writing apology abi was signed by him let me read to you guys this apology so it says it's from Dronis international gospel center it says an official statement on mrs uh Anim veronica nena's testimony so when I said official statement, it's actually a statement, not an apology. I'll be okay, let's read it, right? He said a scenario was created on Sunday the 14th of April 2024 at the Glory Dome, the global headquarters of Dunamis International Gospel uh, Center. When Mrs. Anya Veronica Nena came out to testify of how God helped her graduate from the university, thus making her the first person to attain that um, feat in her family. These were the immediate triggers to the said scenario. This is apology. 
Is this what people are calling apology? Okay. He says, first, listen to the testifier's expression as it borders on basic spoken English, conveys the impression that the minimum standard expectation of a graduate, uh, they're still holding on to her spoken English, right? Yay. Okay. So, um, they still, I, no, no, this is the defense. This is not an app. Do you know, sometimes I don't like to read stuff before I address it so that I can naturally or you can get my my real reaction to the th stuff. It's like we're reading it at the same time. Listen to this. First, listen to the testifier's expression as it borders on basic spoken English. Conveys the impression that the minimum standard expectation of a graduate, especially a graduate of law, was not met. Second, stating that she studied law for 10 years. Did she say 10? But she said something that she had a bad leg and she did not continue. I remember she said that she had something, she had a leg injury or something that she could not continue. I remember she said that. And then she said, yeah, yeah, yes, begged the question of what her degree actually was. Then third, she was unable to state exactly what the correct degree was. For I don't know why I feel like I'm reading Pauline Neche. It sounds like Polenetche. Forget that secretary is signing it, but it comes across as Polenetche. I see that ego thing. You know the way people, people don't realize is who you are sometimes. We come through no matter the, um, the, the circumstance or the scenario. Okay, it says, um, third, she was unable to state exactly what, what the correct degree was for law, which is LLB. Rather, she said it was a, a BSc in law, uh, which is largely unknown. As a, If you go and watch that video, the first time they asked her, she actually said LL. Go and watch that video. But when they asked her again, I think, like I said in one other video, she kind of second-guessed second guessed herself and then said something else. But anyways, uh, um, which is largely known as a law degree in Nigeria and possibly globally. Um, this prompted the senior pastor, Dr. Paul NHA, to stop the testimony immediately as a product of a lie. However, relief came when it was later confirmed that she actually graduated from a university. It must be pointed out clearly here that embarrassing the testifier publicly with the attention media frenzy was never intended. Whatever happened was under the spur of the moment. The action of the senior pastor was rather based on his and the church aversion to see mediocrity and any appearance of untruth. On, uh, while we remain resolute in our passion for excellence, uh, in terms of mediocrity and falsehood, we wish to reiterate the fact that no harm or hurt was ever intended by the senior pastor against Mrs. Mrs. Annie, Annie and Veronica. And the senior pastor feels deeply concerned and had already, already reached out to her. He says, as a commission, we regret every inconvenience, hurt, and embarrassment. This unfortunate scenario has caused to mrs anim veronica nena we remain committed to her physical welfare as we as well as her spiritual growth god bless us all i don't see any place to say i don't know my opinion no i don't know this is my opinion is this an apology sylvester edo personal assistant secretary of the senior pastor dunamis international gospel center so that is what they call uh, they call that an apology and you know I so i actually forgot to add this one right i didn't see this when i filmed my video apparently she had already posted this video on facebook i want you guys to listen to what she had she had to say there is still no apology for Meneche on his wife or oh, sorry or his wife she is the one that spoke they didn't say anything. Listen to what she had to say. I want to say to the world that mommy and daddy, they are my spiritual father. I don't have any grudges against them or against the church. Whatever that happened, we have settled everything. So there is no problem. Whatever people are doing, writing up on Facebook, please, I urge you people to desist from it. They are my spiritual father and I cannot fight my mother and I can't fight my father, please. I urge you people to desist from this right up. So Thank you very much. God bless you. <laughs> Did you guys see that? She was the one that they brought to come and speak. Not them, you know, speaking to her in this video and saying, oh, we're sorry for what happened. No, she, she has to speak. And then if you watch this video again, it actually looks like Paul Neche's lips were moving when she was speaking. 
Sometimes something like that can happen whereby in cases whereby the what she's been what she's saying is what she has been told to say. Because why is his why are his lips? I mean, he's why are his lips moving when she was speaking? I don't know. You can watch it again and see exactly what happened there. So I forgot to I didn't add this in my video, so I decided to add it in the video now. Like I was saying, when Osina she died, if what this man said did not show you guys. A, a part of him let me because i don't know the whole of him but let's speak about the part of him that shows the who, who this man is to a great extent if he doesn't show it to you guys i don't know what will the way he came out and spoke the way he was addressing topic like you understand there was no you know when somebody is like somebody's life just ended i'm not even saying okay maybe there's something but, but just the way he was speaking I made a video and I said, the way we were saying, and the deceased, and the deceased. And I'm like, she had a name. This is supposed to be a dear church member. She was in the choir. Not just that. Not just that. She was a lead singer in that church. She was a minister. She was ministering through songs. And she died. And I personally felt like calling her the deceased, the deceased. Yes, she was deceased. But it's not a word you use for someone you know. The press may say that. Bloggers may even may even say that, but you don't use the deceased. It's very disassociated way of speaking about somebody that you are supposed to know. And she called him daddy. So the, a woman that called him daddy, she, her life ended as a father, as they call you them, as they call their father in the Lord. You address your daughter as the deceased. Will you do that? God forbid, I'm not praying, but I'm just saying, if she was a biological daughter, let me put it that way, would you address your biological daughter as the deceased? You will address them as their name. No, no, force. Nobody will come here and say, I will never come here and say, um, um, address my father as the deceased. Coming back to what I'm saying, those that are waiting for Paul to come and, and apologize. Now go wait, Tayao. Now wait, Taya. You can tell when someone is very arrogant. Remember when, what the one that happened with uh, Freeze? You remember how he came out and spoke, braggadocia and everything. Some words that should not come out from a man that claims to be a pastor, claims to be ca called by God. From these utterances, you guys should know by now. So I'm just making this video for those that are expecting Polenetje. Uh, if he shock us now, <laughs> he may just come and shock us now and do it too. But the man that we know, have you ever, I, I never see you personally where Polenice came out and said anything, I'm sorry. There are some people that find it hard to say. So I don't know, what are your opinions? Do you think that Polenice will come out and apologize? Do you think? Do you even think he should or he shouldn't apologize? Is your opinion? My opinion is what I have said. In your opinion, what I just read, is that an apology? Or just a statement or defense what are your opinions about that as always my opinion is what i've shared and as always whatever your opinions are please leave them in the comment section below and with that i'm going to say thank you for watching until the next time guys bye bye bye